you are the early ones. You're all the efficient ones and great seeing you with us. And I um, just want to say a big welcome. Um, this event's being recorded, so please keep it clean and positive. And we've got amazing Conrad Sampson as our guest speaker tonight. How are you doing, Conrad? Did you want to unmute and say a quick hello while we've got you? Hey, good evening, everybody. Thanks, Ed. Thanks for the invitation and good to see you all again. Oh, now, what are you going to be talking about? Can you let a bit of the cat out of the bag, Conrad? Okay, if, if you really want to. A little bit. <laughs> okay, so we, we'll be talking about the great refresh today, okay, which I think should be quite interesting. And uh, I won't steal much of the thunder away, but I think there's a lot happening. Uh, and people have been going through quite a lot, quite a few challenges. And so we're going to talk about navigating uh, what's happening in the world today and how we can actually navigate the situation in the iceberg. So it's called the Great Refresh. Oh, my God. Is it fair to say that you're a leadership and um, learning expert? Can I call you that? I am. I am an educational technologist and uh, I'm a training education development specialist. Oh, well, it's a pleasure. We love you. Can we give a round of applause to wonderful Conrad? Conrad, we'll hear from you later on. And I just want to um, pick on a few legends in the room. Um, Amir's still get, getting set up, so we'll come back to Amir in a minute. We'll give poor Amir a break. But we're, let's harass legendary David Quinn Watson. How are you doing, David Quinn Watson? I'm good, Ed. Yeah, fantastic. Good to be here, uh, pumped for this evening. I'm um, really looking forward to the talk uh, yeah, I, I'm interested in the great refresh. I think there's some changes happening around the world, economically, uh, demographically, environmentally. Yeah, we've got to get ready for some changes. It, change never stops, Ed. Well, on a funny note, when I was young, I was like the only uh, Arab kid. Now everyone's an Arab kid, so there you go. So um, we, us Middle Eastern Arabs kicked out all the white people, David. That's what we did. Well, I grew up overseas and, and there's been a few kicking out of white people in, in parts where I live too, Ed. So, yeah, that, that's part of the changes that's happening. I think it's still happening. <laughs> yeah, uh, crazy. Well, now very quickly, before we get this uh, live stream shut down for not being politically correct, um, <laughs> so, so you're a sales specialist. Tell us a little bit about that, David. And yeah, thanks was, for your great presentation on Monday too. Services, uh, learned a lot of lessons about business, uh, some of them very late in life. Uh, and after being a little bit retired or retired for a little bit, uh, I decided that I could teach those lessons to people so they could learn them a whole lot damn quicker than I ever did. Uh, so, and in particular, I've got some sales lessons that I would like to pass on to people who are having uh, issues in, in getting their clients and, uh, and getting their income into their business and, and uh, uh, creating the, the lifestyle that they want for themselves. So that's what I do. Beautiful. We love you, David. A round of applause. It's a pleasure. Yeah. We've got one of our leaders here tonight. We've got an amazing Amir Meshel. Amir's one of our meetup leaders and an amazing man of property. Amir, do you want to say a quick hello and give us a quick networking tip? Yeah, absolutely, Ed. Hello, everyone. It's, uh, it's coming to you as a live broadcast from close to Noosa in Queensland. So I thought, uh, first of all, Ed, one of the magic things that I got from your meeting last week was a one-on-one -on -one with a yell. So I met a guy at the live uh, Brisbane catch-up last time, and tonight we had a one-on-one a, a -on -one Zoom, and that's really the power of networking. So take advantage of tonight. You're meeting people that normally may not swim in the same swimming pool that you're in. Take advantage of it and find out who you can help and who can help you. I tell you, some of these connections that you've introduced me to, Ed, are absolutely magic, and I'm really looking forward to hearing what Con Conrad has to say. Uh, what I do is I'm very simple. I'm a house buyer. And what does it mean to be a professional house buyer? It means I get to fly to beautiful places like Noosa in the middle of winter. Just an excuse to get away from the cold. But I get to buy beautiful oceanfront, gorgeous houses. And I feel like a king even when I'm spending somebody else's money. I <laughs> love it. There you go. I'm going to say, love your view, by the way. You're, you're in a nice hotel balcony or something, are you? Yeah, this is the same as uh, June last year when you and I were in Brisbane doing our little catch-up. It's the same hotel, the Ramada by Markula Beach. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, it's a pleasure, Amir. Round of to you, Amir. We appreciate you. And uh, Amir, as quickly as well, you're very pumped for the Sydney meetup tomorrow. That's going to be a great location. I'm not, obviously, I'm in Queensland today and tomorrow, oh, so I'll miss that. Yeah. But 
It's uh, the fish burners is the office that I use to do most of my meetings. I'm usually on level three, and you guys are getting the insight into the locked rooms of level three tomorrow. So you'll see where my office is and hopefully get a lot out of the meeting because I know I get a lot out of every single live one. Ooh, pleasure. I no, love your work, Amir. Round applause to you, Amir. It's a pleasure. And um, I'm just going to say, we're going to open up the floors. Now, a few things um, as we open up the floor. My advice to you is go for about half a minute. I always say the more shorter and brief you are in introducing yourself is more effective with me. So go up to it, like maximum half a minute. That works well. If you want to say hello to the room, just hit the hands up. Keeps that'll rank you in order a few things. Firstly, if you are loving the Zoom, take a screenshot at any time and post it on LinkedIn and say how much you love it. Secondly, my legendary friend, secondly, use the chat. Use the Zoom chat to connect with people. And thirdly, and I've got to give a big shout out for Four Networking for teaching me this. Book three one-on-one business appointments. I learned that originally from my early Four Networking days, where I used to run a lot of face-to-face uh, events. But book three-minute one-on-one business appointments. You might just catch up for five, ten minutes because the real networking actually happens after the event, and it's what you do. So again, connect with three people you haven't met. Make sure you connect on LinkedIn. But book three one-on-one business appointments and. Uh, that's how collaboration happens. So we're going to open up the floor. Again, go to a maximum of half a minute just to keep it all moving beautifully. And the more clear and concise you are, the more effective you're going to be. And a big welcome. So, Alwyn, how are you doing, Alwyn? Hello, Ed. Great to be here. Great to see Amir as well. Awesome legends. And Tom's, we had a great connection the other day. So I'm Alderman Alternay, known as the Media Queen. I'm based on the Gold Coast. I'm very passionate about inspiring more truth and good news in the world to help decrease depression and suicide rates. We've actually had four times the suicide rates now through COVID. So now more than ever, I believe it's important that we actually be the change we wish to see in the world and share more gratitude and more good news. And I'm certainly grateful to be here today. I help people gain free publicity and also so you'd be seen, heard, and known through the mass media. Thank you so much, Aldwin Media Queen from the Gold Coast. Uh, Aldwin, great seeing you, Max Love. And um, Italian Max, how are you doing? Max, the floor's yours. Hello, thanks, Ed. Very good in Italy. Hello from Italy, everybody. I am an asset protection advisor. In practice, your success is our success because you will know arbitrage. Crypto arbitrage allows you to make profits on autopilot because professionals do it for you and you get the profits. And arbitraging arbitrage is a good way to cut the paid cost of advertising because thanks to it, you get free leads, free business and more. So my data are in the chat, open to everyone. Thanks a lot. Oh, Max, beautiful round of applause. Appreciate you, Max. And the other handsome, sexy, bald man. Uh, he's almost as good looking as me. Well, I'm almost as good. Look- e- Eel's better looking than me. How are you doing, Eel? You're very good. Hi. Um, yeah, my name is Eyal. Um, I'm IT uh, advisor. I'm helping companies to uh, <clears throat> solving problems for companies in terms of IT projects, uh, issues that they have with the systems um and implementing right solutions for them uh by the way amir mentioned that uh, we had a, a great uh meeting earlier today and he mentioned um a guy trent in logistics something buddy of yours great guy yeah i'll appreciate if you can um facilitate the connection between us that would be awesome if possible um and yeah, the other hat that I have is um, uh, cryptocurrencies. I developed an online course um, to teach you, take you by the hand and teach you how to uh, buy cryptos, how to save them, how to manage them properly and be secure and safe. So yeah, that's me. Oh, beautiful. Big welcome. Great having you with us, El. Round of applause. Love your work, you. man. I got Elmari. How you doing, Elmari? Hello, Edward. Hello, everyone here. It's very great to be here. I'm greeting you from Chile, South Africa. So I'm sitting here with everything that I can arm myself against the cold. But I'm happy to be here and excited to share this time with you. Um, I'm a freelance copywriter and I have just decided I'm going to niche down to 
helping entrepreneurs in the health and wellness industry. So if you know everyone, anyone in the health and wellness industry, I'm right now looking to write some samples to put on my portfolio so we can work out a special price if you will allow me to add it to my portfolio. Thank you. Brilliant. Elmari, so good seeing you as always. Appreciate you. Toms, how are you, Toms? Hi, Ed. Hi, everyone. Uh, happy to see all the uh, smiley and happy faces here. I've uh, been with the uh, one-on-ones from quite a few of you here already. I'm looking forward to connect with the rest of you. For those of you who haven't uh, chatted with me yet, uh, I'm a mindfulness and yoga coach. I love to teach people how to love their stress. So you take care and control of it. And I also do tarot coaching, which is not regular tarot readings, which actually empowers you and gets you unstuck and shows how you already had your answer within and uh, keeps you going. Thank you, everyone. If you're interested, get in touch. Brilliant, Tom's big thank you. Amazing, Christine Bell, how are you doing? I got to unmute. How are you? Good seeing you. Good to see you guys. So I'm Christine Bell and I'm a passionate customer advocate And I love helping my clients build sustainable and successful businesses by providing training in customer strategy and co-creating fantastic marketing uh, strategies that are based in customer insights. And I have a pilot workshop coming up on the 22nd of July, it starts, and it's all about helping you develop a robust target market strategy. So if you're interested in that, do find me on LinkedIn and let me know and I'll send the invite to you. And that's it. Brilliant. And I'll see you tomorrow, whoever yes. wants to see you, and me as well. I'll see you tomorrow. Look forward to it. And I see some friendly faces here, Elmari in uh, South Africa. So we had a great chat about the South Africa when I used to live there. And I had a great chat with Tom's as well. So, yeah, getting around. Christine, we love you. Round applause to you, Christine. Highly recommended. Andreas, how are you? How are you, Ed? Hello, amazing people from the UK. Uh, glorious sunshine here. That's why I'm wearing a straw hat. I'm a PR uh, photographer. I have great passion in what I do. I've been doing it for a long time, but since being on LinkedIn, uh, it's been a big game changer. Thanks to you, Ed and Lassie, for these great opportunities to meet all these great people. Massive apologies, actually, because I haven't had a one-to-one on various people that have approached me yet i'm in the process of a massive pivot massive pivot at the moment rebuilding after 40 years of running the restaurant and i'm at the stage of finalizing my projects but i'll be in a better place soon and thank you very very much everybody for giving me the confidence and renewing my mojo and always look forward to getting the edward zia fix oh love you andreas rap applause to you andreas amazing Alessio, the floor is yours. Hi, everyone. Thank you very much, Edward. Unfortunately, as I said before, I, um, I caught uh, COVID, but uh, hopefully I, all, I, I'm, uh, I'm okay. I can't only smell and uh, have some cough. But anyway, I'm uh, a wine expert. And uh, as I said before, I am from Italy. And... Um, I'm uh, I'm working on different projects regarding uh, sustainability, and uh, I'm looking for people uh, to connect with them uh, on who is working in the automotives and also in uh, renewable energies. So I will put my details in the chat box, and I'm open to have a one-to-one with you all as well. Thank you very much. Bless you. Get better, my friend. Love you heaps, man. Big pleasure. Speaking of love, Scott Fox. How are you doing, Scott Fox? Hey, Ed, thanks very much for the other day. It was appreciated. Uh, had my Ed fix for the, for the week. Uh, so, yeah, shoot it up, buddy. So, uh, Alessio, actually, I have to catch up with you, mate, because uh, we were to do a Zoom last week. I apologise. I should have followed up with you on that. I want to say a big thank you to Amir as well. I had a one-to-one with his uh, 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 business partner, Amir, uh, John. Uh, so, thank you very much, guys. Uh, I look uh, forward to doing business with you. And uh, also, uh, I wanted to say, well, actually, I'm Scott Fox from Sixth Sense Acupuncture, and I'm a registered acupuncturist in Chinese Hebrews. 
I'm based in Brisbane in Australia. So uh, I want to talk about a patient that came to me two days ago. He had uh, severe shoulder pain. He'd had it for around about four or five years. He'd had surgery twice on the shoulder. He'd been to a neurosurgeon and he basically stated that I can't do much for you. You've got a pinched nerve in your, in your shoulder. So for the first time in five years, he actually hasn't uh, had pain after the first treatment. So big uh, round of applause for him. And uh, that's it, guys. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it, Ed. Um, the exposure is awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, Scott. Pleasure, man. Love your work. And Buka, welcome, Buka. The floor is yours. Thank you, Eddie. Hello, nice people around. How are you all? Well, Thank you, Ed. Uh, my name is Buka. I'm the founder of the Habitus Tour Company in, in Tanzania. We have the, the, the office in Dar es Salaam, and we are building the campsite in Nyerere National Park. This is southern Tanzania. We are looking forward to do business with the people around the world, especially on tourism and operation business. We look forward to, to have one-on-one -on -one meetings with travel agents and two operators around that we can, we can do the business. Thank you very much, everyone. By now I'm speaking from Zanzibar. I'm looking forward to, to introduce a branch office in, that, in Zanzibar. Thank you, Dev. Oh, Buka, big pleasure, big welcome. There you go. Thank We've you, a, thank you. We've got communication rock star, Sandy Diaz. How are you doing, Sandy? Honored to have you with us. Hello, hello, everyone. Um, hi, how's everyone doing tonight? You look all great and amazing. Um, yeah, so I am a community, especially you, Ed. <laughs> Um, I am a communication coach, so I teach people how to effectively connect with each other um, to get on the same page. <laughs> yeah, get on the same page with others to hear what's not being said, to become a master communicator and build great relationships so that you can build your business and increase your sales. So that's what I do. Thank you. You do it well, Sandy. We love you. Appreciate you so much. Thank you. And we've got Cammy. Cammy, the floor is yours. Hit that on me. Hi. Uh, hi, my name is Cammy. <laughs> nice to be here again. So I, sorry, there's background noise. <laughs> we go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, so I'm Kemi from London. I'm all about positivity, helping people live better, live better, make a life of their own instead of working nine to five. So, but it's in select countries. So I'm not going to bore you with all the countries, but UK, Europe, and other countries. So, yeah, if anything resonates with you or you just want to have a one-to-one -one with me. I'm happy to connect and just bring a light to everyone's life. Thanks, Edward. Oh, pleasure, Cammy. Love your work. And we're going to take a photo shortly. So turn on your webcams, get ready for the photo. But before we take the photo, I want to give an honourable shout out to Matthew Musa. Matthew and I had a great chat on the phone today. Matthew and I um, also joined our wonderful community. So we can give a big round of applause to Matthew. Matthew, did you want to unmute and just say a quick hello and tell us what you do? Well, we got the spotlight of awesomeness shine on, uh, show, shining on the shining Sh shine on you. There you go. <laughs> no, thanks a lot, Ed. Really appreciate it. And yeah, it was great to connect today. Um, so obviously, uh, yeah, new to the group. Uh, great to be on board. And uh, what I do is uh, very similar to Amir, uh, almost on par with it, actually. Uh, so I'm a buyer's agent. I help people get to their property goals a lot faster than what the uh, average person can do it in. And, you know, that is for a lot of people who don't have the time or they don't have that, you know, market knowledge uh, who engage with us. That's it in a nutshell. Oh, brilliant. Matthew, we love you. Round of applause. It's an absolute pleasure. So we're going to take a group photo now. So please turn on your webcam, lean forward and get ready. So I can get a really good one to so make you look good. Even I'll get ready. There we go. Fix my hair. There we go. 
Awesome. So, friends, get ready. This is my friend's cut, by the way. Three, two, one, smile and hold the pose, eyes on camera. How was that? One more. Half of you had your eyes shut. Keep your eyes open. Three, two, one, smile. Let's go again. That felt good. Give yourself a round. Oh, one more. David looked like he was high. So let's do it again. So David was getting stoned again. Let's do it again. Three, two, one, smile. And please hold the pose and eyes on camera. Excellent. We all look good there. So there you go. It's, a, it's really hard when you got a group of 20 people getting everyone to look good. I usually stuff it up. So there you go. We all love you. Um, so yeah, big welcome in. Great having you with us. Um, <clears throat> it's an absolute pleasure. Now we're going to bounce over to our guest speaker shortly, who is amazing, Conrad, which I'm very excited about. But before we do that, I just want to bounce back to the floor for the minute. Is there anyone here who hasn't spoken that would like to speak? So I encourage you to put your hand right now, up to half a minute, say a quick hello. If you haven't spoken and you want to speak, I encourage you to do it right now before we bounce over to legendary Conrad. Anyone here? Lily, we got uh, Lily's waving. Go for it, Lily. Then we'll go, Lewis. Can you hear me, Ed? Loud and clear, Lily. Go for it. Oh, great. Hi, everyone. My name is Lily. I'm the founder and CEO of Char LPL Charitable Foundation. It's a registered charity that helps people with mental health issues and people living in poverty. So I just want to learn from people and meet new people as well as seeking sponsorship opportunities. Thank you. Ah, oh, beautiful. Love you, Lily. Round applause to you. Awesome, Lily. And Lewis, how are you doing, Lewis? Good, Ed. Thank you very much for um, setting up the meeting for all of us tonight. I know we all appreciate, you know, all appreciate what you're doing very much. Um, I'm, a, I'm a business coach, so um, I help companies with systems and processes, um, and I also do some outsourcing. So, you know, if you want to get staff overseas to make your life easier, um, you can come and see me. And if you want systems and processes for your business, you know, there's some amazing things that you can do just to make your business, like, run more smoothly. Oh, Lewis, we appreciate you. Round of applause. Now, I have to say, we're going to have to take our photo again because our guest speaker, Conrad, was offline for a second, but now he's back. So we have to take the group photo again. So do a different pose this time. And everyone, turn on your webcam, get nice and close, eyes on camera. And Conrad, it's great to have you in the photo this time too because you're like our guest speaker. So friends, nice and close. Three, two, one, smile and hold that pose, eyes open. Awesome. We got everyone in there, including legendary Conrad. So without further ado, Conrad, are you ready for your legendary presentation? Unmute and let us know. I am. And just in the nick of time, I'm not sure whether you got my message. My system just decided to crash, but got it back in time. Happens all the time, Conrad. Um, if you want to blame anyone, blame Microsoft. <laughs> yeah. Now, I was great. just going to say, did you want to share screen or are you just going to um, yep, monologue? Gonna yep, I will share my screen and uh, please ring the bell when I when it's time to, to quit. How long have I got? Well, we didn't go through that. So anyway. So just to let you know, so I've enabled screen share and I've hit spotlight. So Conrad's taking over everyone's PC. Conrad and I go back many years. He's a top leadership learning expert. And just to let you know, it's a maximum of 15 minutes. So Conrad has a maximum of 15 minutes. So what I encourage you to do is please keep your microphones on mute. Listen. If you've got any questions or thoughts, put them in the chat and keep networking. Maximum of 15 minutes. And while Conrad's doing that, I'm actually going to be uploading our networking photo too. So Conrad, without further ado, is there anything before we let you go? I'm good. All right. Can we, everyone, can we give up the comrade? Comrade, yes. The floor is yours. 15 minutes. The timer has begun. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ed. And I must say, it's been a pleasure working with you and um, and getting to know so many people through your network. And, uh, and uh, that, that's just been absolutely amazing. In fact, um, I just had a session with um, with someone that I met through the network about an hour ago. And, and that was, uh, you know, truly a very rewarding uh, coaching session. Uh, tonight, um, you know, we, we're going to be talking about um, a topic that's uh, that's just been playing, um, you know, uh, in my mind and in my heart for the past, uh, well, 
we've we've all been on this journey for two years, but I think in the past six months has just been really, really hitting me that you know, hey, I need a refresh. I think if I'm feeling like I need a refresh, and the, and my friends on the left and my friends on the right and and everywhere, uh, you know, are, are, are needing a refresh. I think that I need to look at what what's helping me and and how I guess how it's helped me to um to to get over the bump and uh, and hopefully that'll be you know of great value to to those of you in the channel so a little bit about myself first of all um and um i uh, i founded uh, the wind coaching solutions and that in that capacity i'm here tonight uh but let me introduce myself i'll just hopefully go to the next page with this slide great okay so a little bit about myself so i am actually a um an educational technologist and um, I work with learning management systems and I work for, for a company that's uh, at the moment that's called Andrew Gogic. Uh, and I, I'm quite happy to mention their name because they're one of the leaders in learning management software. Um, and so basically we work with large organizations, medium organizations and small organizations to help them um, manage all their employees in terms of uh, skills um, and to, to prepare them to make sure that people um, are, are, are qualified, are certified to do what they need to do. Um, I've got about 30 years experience in training education development myself. Uh, I've traveled around the state, New South Wales, several times, uh, visit, visited all the small country towns. So I've met a lot of people, a lot of people in the country um, in, in, with, you know, in, in capacity as a trainer. Uh, I am a subject matter expert, which means that I'm not a trainer, but I, I do uh, uh, focus on specific parts of IT that I train in and also specific um, uh, parts of uh, the business uh, of the organization that I work with. I was, I worked with New South Wales Police for quite a few years and so travel around the states visiting uh, police stations and regional offices. Um, and so with that, and I mentioned all of that, it, it is because uh, that's the sort of foundation that I, you know, that I had, and uh, and it sort of dawned on me that um, hey, you know, that more, more than just you know someone that's attending my class, there's a real person on the other side, and everyone has a different way of learning, and uh, just getting uh, used to people's uh, learning methods, and uh, realizing that uh, people have got other challenges as well. So I've, I've I really got interested in coaching people. Um, and so the, the different kinds of coaching I do, I, I do mentoring, which is more technical as well. So I teach them basically how to in specific areas, but I also offer myself as a, as a coach where they're the experts uh, and I'm here to help them reach their full potential. So that's what I do um, like in, in, in maybe a, a, a corporate uh, setting as well uh, and also small groups. Um, I've got qualifications in international business, so I love marketing, and I, I've studied HR uh, um, practices um, in different parts of the world, and just to compare how we do things. And of course, I founded Win Coaching Solutions, which is why I'm here today. So let's get straight into the topic of the day. So we're talking about the great refresh, and the reason why I think this is this is a great topic to to discuss um because we've heard all of these terms being um peddled if you like and, and people talking about these things the great resignation um the great defeat the great reset oh, that's a big one uh the great awakening the great depression the calm before the storm and you know now we've got no eggs so the big whatever supermarket uh you know bear shelves whatever it is you want to call it uh who's who's heard some of these things before and you know i'm sure you know many of us have heard that yeah just a show of hands at least one hand anybody yeah we've we've heard these things okay we, we must have heard these things on uh on the radio and on the television but because of that um i just got a sense that that people have been feeling um certainly like you know, they, they kind of lost at sea or, or maybe feeling that they're a little bit lost in the desert 
um, or maybe even like a battered soldier fight, fighting at the front. And, and what I mean by that is that is that it just seems a little bit hopeless. Um, and, and certainly for me, I mean, as well, I mean, even though, you know, I had a secure job and everything, but it, it really put myself and my whole family in the barrel of what's been happening in the past a couple of years and uh, seen many uh, people that I know firsthand uh, who've experienced difficulties as well. And, uh, and, the, and the main intention for, for sharing whatever I'm going to share today is, um, is that overwhelming, that over, uh, the, the most important message in that there is hope. That if we have a bit of a strategy and if we sort of pull back a little bit and look at the situation and come up with a, with a few um, uh, um, pointers, I guess, or few strategies, uh, we can actually help to, we can help ourselves to get ahead of the game and to be prepared for what might be coming. So this is just a general coaching group um, uh, encouragement, if you like. And so what we need to do basically in a nutshell and, you know, with, with the time that we have is, you know, I'll just get straight to the point and that is most importantly, we have to learn, as I mentioned in the opening, and that is we have to learn to navigate. So that's the most important thing. If you remember nothing else tonight, uh, the most important thing I want you to take away is that mindset that you will need to navigate. You will need to navigate the uh, the icebergs, you will need to navigate the situation, you'll need to dodge those bullets, and you'll just need to continue your journey. Um, at Win Coaching, and, and what I've been big on is embracing destiny. And one of the most important things that I think we need to be to feel very comfortable with each one of us is we have to find out what our destiny is. And I'm not talking about fate. I'm not talking about a situation where oh, this is how it's going to be, so I'll just roll over and let things overtake me. I'm talking about destiny where you've been called to do something. You're, you're known by whatever you do, okay? And I'm not saying that this is what you do, but we, we had a media queen, I believe, somewhere. In, <laughs> it just sort of stuck to me. I thought, wow, media queen. This person really knows their destiny, okay? They've labeled themselves that. Uh, and, and, and that's what I'm talking about. You need to know who you are, what you have in your hands. So if you just open the palm of your hands and, and consider, have a good hard look and, and, and say to yourself, this is what's been given to me. These are my skills. I'm expert at this. I can't see myself doing anything else. I don't, I, you know, I may have a job, but this is what I'm passionate about, okay? And, and that's your destiny. This is, this is something that you were born to do. You were put on this earth to make sure that you tick this big box, okay? Um, so, so that's what you need to do. You, you, as long as you've got your destiny, you now need to make a start. You need to say to yourself, okay, enough time spent in the dark. So the two years wandering, uh, whatever situation you have, you, you may have been through, gone through, um, well, you need to say enough time spent in the dark. I like that. You like that? <laughs> enough time spent in the, bar, in, in the back, uh, in the dark rather. It's time for a comeback. So you need to have the mindset. It's time for a comeback. It's not time to say, oh, well, it's, no, it's, it's pointless. Uh, we're never, ever going to win this battle. Things are only going to get worse. And then just, you know, go down that slippery, slippery slide. Um, you, you need to say, you know, I've, you know, I've lost enough. I've lost enough. I'm not going to stop anymore. So this, I'm drawing the line and too much has been taken away from me. Too much ground has been lost. There is no path forward, you might say. And you may feel like you've exhausted all avenues, um, uh, but you need to stand your ground. You need to stand your ground and you need to make sure that the enemy, okay, the enemy <laughs> doesn't take any more ground. And uh, and you'll see in the next slides, I hope that we can look a little bit further. I love that picture. I know you're going to look at this picture and, and sort of think to yourself, what is this picture? Um, this is something that I, 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 I saw at... Um, uh, at the Honolulu airport, and it says men at work, menahune at work. 
Okay, so he's got all these tools there. I didn't see any any pictures of women there. This was the only picture that I saw. So I, I thought, this is great. I can use this for coaching. So the thing that I want to say is that we need to find a way. We need to gather our tools. We need to change the great defeat into a great victory. It's time for the great refresh. And it's time to plan your long-awaited comeback. And everyone claps and says, yes, that's it. I'm ready to go. It's time to navigate those icebergs and you have to master navigating those icebergs. You have to learn to dodge the bullets. You got to see which way the bullets are coming. Um, you've got to turn uh, the, the deserts into streams. Okay. I, and I hope you get that. Okay. You need to turn the deserts into streams. You need to let the, 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 the streams flow in that dry land. You need to turn fear into faith, and you need to turn hopelessness into possibilities. I'm going to move along fast with the slides, and hopefully we'll have questions later. So let me get into it. So I just want to share with you seven critical strategies. How am I doing the time? Okay. Seven critical strategies that I believe that you can align yourself for a great comeback. So remember the word refresh. I picked that word because it actually means something, and that is you can live with that refresh. And so let's go for it. I'm going to just tear along. Um, okay, first one is rejuvenate. And like I'll share what this, what I mean by this. Number one, rejuvenate, explore, foresight, rest restore, expand, share, and hope. Okay. I'm going to go to the next slide and explain what these mean. But this is this is what came to me and this is what I applied to myself to get over the situation. And I believe I had a mini victory, in fact, big victory. And I'm very happy with myself for thinking that way. So number one, I've, I've just revealed the whole lot here so you can see it in case you want to take a screen capture. And that is rejuvenate. Rejuvenate. So you have to learn and you have to uplift yourself you got to pick yourself up from the ground you've got to reinvigorate yourself your business and whatever it is that's gone through the mill and you have to learn to reinvent yourself okay so rejuvenation is another word for um you know transforming yourself for for just you know picking yourself up and giving yourself a boost. So you're going to have to do that. So rejuvenate your body, your soul, and your spirit. And I do do a seminar on body, soul, and spirit looking at this area. But you can, you do need to rejuvenate each one of these areas in your lives. Okay? So you need to get yourself right. Yes? Are we, what's that, two minutes? Oh, wow. I better go on. Okay, let me, let me tear this. You need to explore opportunities. So you need, everyone just, you need to look at the opportunities available to you. You got to remember that when one door closes, another always opens and at the right time. You need to have a bit of freedom and you need to have foresight. You need to look and see what's, what's beyond the horizon. You need to see what's coming and what you can hedge yourself against. You need to restore and you in other words, you need to claim back what was lost. You need to, I like this one, expand your territory. If you've lost territory, you need to learn to expand your territory to look for opportunity. Share, you need to learn to share what you've learned to show others the way out of the jungle. And you need to have hope because without hope, we perish. Okay, I'm going to move along. I'm ending it. <laughs> and... Um, uh, Okay, we won't bother with this quiz, but if anybody can tell me where this is, you can get a free 45-minute session with me, okay? Have a look at it and tell me what it is. Um, my next session that I'm doing in July is called your Triple A Rating, okay, which is a great foundation for anyone who wants to succeed. I think this is great. And um, if you want to get in contact with me, just take a picture of that little barcode there, um, or QR code and um, uh, and keep in contact. So that was a real drive through in into being refreshed. Uh, I hope uh, that you enjoyed that.
and I hope that it's going to help you. Any questions? I'll pass it on to Ed to see where, where we go to next. Oh, we go. Conrad, brilliant. Round of applause to you, Conrad. Dead on time, which is perfect. Uh, and I'll tell you what, the 15 minutes does go quickly. So just to let you know, um, mm -hmm. I'll just go through the comments. If you've got any questions for Conrad, two ways you can ask it, just type it in the chat and I can read it out. Or just hit your hand, um, put your hand up to go live. And with the questions, when you ask a question, keep it short and brief and just ask one question in a way that Conrad can easily um, answer you. So a few reactions. Um, what is it? Uh, Andrea says, I love the word rejuvenate. I use it a lot. Here, here. Uh, legendary Alwyn loved it and said it went quickly. And Andreas is talking about how you made such a great presentation, talking about how Andreas has pivoted and absolutely changed his life, which is amazing. Um, I think also as well, um, yeah, got heaps of cool engagement and a few questions and thoughts that are coming in. Christine Bell said it was very interesting. We love you, Christine. See you tomorrow. And uh, Lewis Schwartz said it was a very refreshing presentation, which I agree with. So um, if you've got any questions, put up your Great. hands. I'm going to ask you a few questions, uh, Conrad. So, and I'm talking about, I'm, and I'm actually talking about my older self. I'm talking about some of the, the way I felt over the past two years. So even though everyone looks at me now and says, Ed, you're winning, you're all slim, you bought a brand new car, you're flying all over the country. I had a pretty rough two years, just to let you know that, right? I lost, I lost a lot of money at the start of uh, lockdowns, when you take that original hit and you're feeling terrible, you're feeling bad and you've been down the slumps like I was, what do you say to people once you take that sort of nuclear missile and you're dealing with all the fallout in that moment? I think the most important thing, um, I mean, that, that, is a, that, is, that is really a great question. A lot of people actually go through that. But I think the most important thing is if we can communicate to people and make them understand that this is only temporary, it's transient, it'll pass. Um, it's, you know, it's something that they need to have that hope and, and not sort of think to themselves that this is it. So if we can communicate and, and, and make them understand that this is temporary because a lot of people give up too, too quickly and someone mentioned about the highest suicide rate um, I, I wrote it down somewhere, um, you know, and, and it's, no, it's no, it's no joke because it's, it's a serious thing. And it's because there's so much pressure, but if we can, if we could communicate that it's, it's temp, when I say it's temporary, it's transient, it will pass. Help is on the way. I think that's, that's the most important thing. Oh, it's a pleasure. Now, again, um, we're inclusive of all religions. I'm very into faith, but of course, I'm going to bring up God and religion and all that great stuff, right? Because, um, yeah, Conrad and I are Christians. We've had many great conversations about God off camera. And whatever your religion is, that's awesome. Many great paths to the creator. Just want to ask you very quickly, just on your faith, when those dark times hit, be it you're, you're, you're an atheist, you're Muslim, Jew, Christian, whatever, don't care. What's your advice to anyone listening from a faith point of view when you take that massive hit and you're feeling, uh? I think um, what, what actually came across to me was a lot of people were, were fearful. And I think uh, from, from, a, from a faith perspective, that actually um, helped me to, to not be fearful um, and to, to realise that, you know, it, it's, it's going to be okay. We just need to... Um, take a step back, regroup, strategize, and have a little bit of wisdom in terms of what we do. And and there and that's how we came up with the, the great refresh. I think you know it, it was that wisdom that I wanted to how to get my life and reinvent myself. Um, so yeah, so most I, I think that the biggest killer was fear. Uh, that was the saddest thing, and a lot of people did things out of fear whatever they did during this time it was done out of fear whether the government was fearful or the, or the whether you were vaccinated you were fearful or whether you were not vaccinated you were fearful whatever it, it was just it became a culture of fear um and i just wanted to turn that around to faith uh, and not let that fear um overcome us yeah. Oh, Conrad, love it. And I don't mean to be political, but I know I know you're going to love this comment and Christine Bell's going to love this comment too. But um, all this research is... So you remember all the lockdowns hit? I was always anti-lockdown. I was anti-lockdown from the start. Now all the research is coming out. Apparently Australia has the highest cases in the world and everyone's saying that lockdown wasn't a good move. It turns out we were correct, Conrad. Had it, 
So score one to Conrad. And we'll correct about the lockdown thing. What do you think of that, Conrad? We were right. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it definitely affected a lot of people. Um, but um, I'm not sure what's happening now. Uh, the case is on the rise again. But yeah, um, yeah but uh, let's not be fearful. I think if we have some common sense strategies, personal strategies, um, you know, we, we can navigate. Remember the key word navigate, we can navigate the situation. Excellent. But I just want to let you know that you were correct, Conrad. You were right all along, it turns out. Just want to let you know. <laughs> I, I know what you're referring to. There you go. Anyway, can we give a round of applause to Conrad? There we go. Thank you for that. And um, just Thanks as very well, much, everybody. Um, so, Conrad, if anyone's interested in hiring you or talking to you, they can just connect with you and jump on a yes, Zoom please. or a phone call. Yep, do that, do that. Pleasure. All right, let's go for Conrad. Conrad, big thank you. Appreciate you, man. Now, I noticed um, during our Zoom, one of our legendary winners, Sean Tucker, snuck in. Sean's actually, um, Sean's based in Melbourne, but he's actually our guest speaker at our Sydney meetup tomorrow. You're, and I was going to say, Sean, what flight are you on tomorrow? What are your movements? I'm leaving Melbourne tomorrow at 7.05 in the morning, flying on Virgin Air. So I'm flying with Tim Beanland and his lovely fiance. So I'm wow. really looking forward to come up with uh, those two. I'm really looking forward to see everyone up in Sydney. Oh, now, Sean, tell us very quickly what you do and give us a little hint of what you're going to be talking about tomorrow in a Sydney meetup. I help people become healthy. Fundamentally, I help business owners, CEOs, all become more healthy business owners and healthier CEOs. I do that by using exercise and health science to quantify their internal health. I then give them a blueprint to get them back to their better self in 90 days or less. And tomorrow... I'm really excited because I'm actually going to do a live demonstration of some of the things that I use in my sessions. So I'm going to ask for a volunteer and we're just going to let you, the universe decide who that is and go with the flow. So I'm really excited about that and pumped to show everyone how we can help them. Oh, pleasure. And just in feeding my own narcissism, have you noticed that I'm all slim again, Sean? I lost my 20 kilos of lockdown fat. You know what's funny? As soon as I saw you show up, on, when I showed up on Zoom today, I was like, what's different? You definitely look slimmer in the face and the neck. So whatever you're doing, mate, you're doing well. Oh, uh, Sean, thank you for feeding my narcissism and insecurity. I really appreciate you, Sean. <laughs> you're so welcome. Anytime. Oh, beautiful round of applause, Sean. So just to let you know, I um, just want to say a big thank you for coming. Now, before we all finish up, um, so two things. If you haven't spoken and you want to speak, hit the hands up key because we'd love to hear from you. Or if you just want to speak and leave a contribution, hit the hands up key as well. So we're just going to go through the wrap up. So you might you might haven't said hello and you want to say hello or you want to say something else, now's your chance. Just hit the hands up key. And just remember, just keep it to a half a minute li limit just to keep um, enough time for everyone and be clear and concise. So anyone wants to say anything, please put up your hand right now. Now is your chance. We'd love to hear it. Old one, what are you thinking, old one? I love the topic tonight. Thank you so much, Conrad. It's awesome. So important. I'd say 90% of anything we do now is, is about keeping things positive and looking at how we can turn our mess into our message. So I just want to do a quick call out for the Global Good News Challenge, which is on next week. It's, it's a free online video challenge sharing gratitude and good news and it will lift your energy and it will lift the energy of people around you so i put the link into the chat there and i challenge you to do a seven day facebook live or an online video challenge somewhere you can do it on linkedin as well yeah of course just, linkedin definitely yeah, linkedin, LinkedIn. Yeah, we recommend linkedin and and just share your name what you do three things you're grateful for and a piece of good news all the details are pinned to the top of that that page there um, but it really will make you feel amazing when you get into gratitude and it's a great way to promote yourself as well although that's not what it was intended for originally it was to lift the energy on the planet but people are actually getting a lot of business out of it as well so i just encourage you to have a look at that for next week Oh, great initiative. We love your old one. And again, I know you did say Facebook, um, but if I can jump in there, we we use and recommend LinkedIn, if I can say that, old one. Yes, LinkedIn is better. I agree. It yes. is better. Oh, yes. Say that again. What did you say? LinkedIn say is again. definitely better. It's oh, definitely the oh. way to go. And my oh, little lion, yes. can, uh, he totally agrees as well. You can see he is totally in with this. He agrees as well. It is absolutely the way to go. LinkedIn is gold. Oh, my God. I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is, when I get the recording, I'm just going to cut that clip and just play it over and over again all night to myself and just get more LinkedIn into my cells. There you go. And and purge 
the vials of Zuckerberg and Facebook from my energy. There we go. Uh, Lewis, how you doing that? Seriously, Alwyn's a great lady. Facebook or LinkedIn, whatever. Pump out the garage hit. Alwyn, you're on the money. Lewis, what are you thinking, Lewis? Um, on the subject of gratitude, I actually run a team and I found that what we do is we do a huddle every morning and literally we just get around and we spend we spend probably 15 minutes and we all tell us, we all say the three things that we're going to be working on during the day. Um, it just brings the whole team in line. And then we actually do one or two things that people are grateful for. And the weird part is that when you start, you say, okay, so what are you grateful for? And people actually go like, um, and they've actually got to think about it. They literally have to stop and think about what they're grateful for. Um, but after a while, they actually the gratitude just starts coming out because the more we say what we're grateful for, the more we're looking for things that we're grateful for. So it's a fantastic way. And you also learn all about your team. You learn about what family they've got and what things inspire them. And it's a wonderful, like it's a wonderful way to learn about other people. Oh, brilliant. Well said, Lewis. Appreciate you, Lewis. And Lydia, I've been looking at you the whole Zoom. So good to hear from you. Lydia, the floor is yours. Hey, yeah. Well, I have to say I've been over at LinkedIn for a while now, right? I haven't been there. I've been over at Facebook land, so I'll have to get over there. Thank you very much for the tip. <laughs> so I'm a <laughs> so I'm a I'm a health coach and I work particularly with mindset, helping people change behaviors that they've had for a really long time. I work a lot with women who emotionally overeat. But I also work with a lot of procrastinators. So if you're out there and you're struggling, I can help you with thought work and with behavioral change. And so my daytime job used to be a marketing person, but now I still do a little bit of that for, for big companies. I do a little bit of consulting here and there, but my heart really is in behavior change. So I can definitely help you if you're struggling out there on your, on your lonesome, you little entrepreneurs, because I know how hard it is. You know, and then it, people put off doing what they really need to get done, and there is help at hand. So, and I'm so inspired to be here with you tonight, and everyone out here doing their very best. It's great stuff. Oh, pleasure. And Lydia, please share your LinkedIn link so everyone can connect with you. It, it, I have shared it. That's my that's my marketing one, but I have to share my Facebook one if I was going to do my health coaching. So. Oh. So Are you going to be okay with that? <laughs> uh, I'll let I'll let it slide. Uh, I'll let it slide only because you're a nice lady. So they will let, let this Facebook one slide just this once. There you go. Now, seriously, Lydia, really appreciate you. Uh, I was going to say as well. Um, would anyone else like to say anything before we uh, get, uh, call it a wrap today tonight? Excellent. Well, just before you all go, I'll just show you just quickly the state of the nation and what's coming up. Stand by. Just show you our upcoming events. So, my friends, that was our photo I put up. Um, so, I'll just show you what's going on. So, should be able to see my screen. So, just let you know, tomorrow we're on in Sydney. So, we're on tomorrow, Friday, 2.30 p.m. at Fishburners, which is level three on 11 York Street, right near Winyard Station. Beautiful location. So, please join us tomorrow. We'd absolutely love to see you. Uh, and also, to, oh, before I forget as well, this Saturday, 10 a.m. Sydney time, we've got our next LinkedIn Influencer Workshop. So every month we run a paid uh, LinkedIn Influencer Workshop. If you've been before, you get a great rate. If you, it's your first time, you're going to love it. Click that link right now and check it out. If you love what you see, just book on in. Um, we run these every month, which is just fantastic. Uh, and also, to another honourable mention as well. Um, this is a good one. I'll share the link for this one as well. This Sunday, uh, 8 a.m., we're actually running a monthly... Um, Boss Lady Summit, which is a wonderful women's empowerment summit run by your favourite uh, Persian uh, over here who happens to be a dude. And it's really, really good. So you're going to love it. Uh, we're going to talk about Survive to Thrive. So we've got a fantastic lineup of wonderful, powerful ladies who are just incredible. And just to let you know, our next uh, live webinar as well, I'll share it with you here. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about Linktree. Ed, Linktree, can you please do a webinar on Linktree? Your request is my command. We're going to do a webinar on Linktree on Monday. So if you're interested in that one, just click that link and book one in. So thank you, my friends. Um, just in wrapping up, if you want to say anything, please put up your hands. Now's your final chance. And we're going to bounce over to Conrad for a closing thought. Conrad, can you just give us a really good closing thought just to get us all thinking over the next few weeks? And thank you again. Fantastic. Thanks for that. I think uh, the most, I think what I like to leave with you guys is things that I might be sharing on my next webinar. 
<laughs> and that is we all just like just as how banks have a triple a rating and nations have a triple a rating we need to have our own triple a rating in anything and everything that we do and if you can guess what the three are but i'll tell you what it is okay and i'll expand it during the workshop number one is your ability number two is availability and number three is attitude okay i've um i, I will expand on it but i just want to leave that with you uh, and think about it and you know and you, you guess out of the three which is the most important one. Oh, fantastic beautiful lovely work conrad friends can we please unmute give a thunderous round of applause to officially close it hit that unmute key thank you everyone bye bye thank you very much thanks appreciate everyone. you all love you. Fantastic. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. thank you guys bye, bye. bye.